I've like dreamed of doing this and pretty much only this. So I had always like imagined like what it would be like to put out my first song and like what it would sound like, what it would look like, how it would feel, who I would be around. Like I was like planning my like release parties when I was like five. I was like, this is gonna be fucking great. And this <laughs> time I was in Seattle filming season two of our show on like a college campus. And we filmed until like, 10 o'clock that night so like it was a little different and I actually think it helped me because it made it feel like it wasn't happening so the pressure kind of wasn't there. So the first day that I wrote tattoos I was like coming off of like a really weird like two week situationship at best. It was just like a copy and paste version of like who I had been with the last like three times. And so I was like, this is good for my mental health. And so I had a panic attack as we do. And I woke up that morning and I just like kind of was like, oh, I feel like shit. And to be blunt, also I'm 22, so this is legal. I was hungover, I'm sorry mother, but I was. And I went into my living room and I just like sat at the piano and I started playing chords and like this person had tattoos, which at the time I was like, oh, that's so hot. Now looking back, they're so poorly done. If I'm being honest when you look at me, it's like kissing a million angels. And every tattoo so intoxicating from your neck and right down to your ankles. I was down bad. I was down so bad. Some people are just not meant for each other, and that's okay. 15 and 16, I had to be strong. 22, I'm still scared of it all. Cause I know one day I could wake up and you'll be gone. When I was 15 and 16, I like, I had a couple relationships with uh only this, this like one, guy who um, like did just like a bunch of like really not great shit and like would like take like very like non-consensual videos of me and like send them around. And that was around the time in like high school where like for me, all these like exposed pages were coming out as kids. And it was like the scariest thing to like be a child going through this. And so it was honestly just like my fear of like, I am so afraid to like be with anybody because any of these people that I have been with before have not only hurt my feelings, but have publicly made me like humiliated. I hope like kids now like don't have those things, but I'm sure, cause I was like such an internet baby. So yeah, that shit was really scary. So that's where 15 and 16 comes from. And I'll just be lonely, missing, holding your head when we're half asleep. Lonely, wishing, we never kiss in your backseat and that's what scares me the most. Knowing that you could just let me go and I'll just be lonely, missing, holding your hand when we're half asleep. Specificity is so important to me because like Casey Musgraves is one of my favorite songwriters of all time and so is Frank Ocean and, and people like that. And like when you go into those tiny little details that like maybe you don't directly relate to, you still feel it like you would. And especially like on top of like really pretty like melodic structures, that's my favorite thing. Like I really like those like almost like kitschy moments because everybody's like, oh, I know what that feels like. And like for me, like the holding your hand when we're half asleep stuff, I was like in a relationship for a really long time and like holding that person's hand when I was half asleep was like the best part of my day. Getting kind of tired of turning pages. I hope you're not the type to pull the same shit. Cause you could be like everyone I've dated. They don't love me, they just wanna see me naked. I mean, in the second verse, I'm like, oh yeah, now I'm pissed. You know, like now I'm like, okay, we're, we're spiraling down and it's like getting to the mad portion, which is usually what I do. I'm like very like, oh, sweet. And then I cry and then I get mad and then whatever, whatever happens after that. But in the, sec in the second verse, it's really more so of also like the downfall of this situation ship because like it was quick. It was quick. If I'm being honest when you look at me, it's like kissing a million angels. And every tattoo so intoxicating from your neck and right down to your ankles. But that's what scares me the most. It'll tear me apart when you go.
it was honestly just me being like, I'm going to sum up every single tiny little feeling that I have right now, which are like 50,000 when you meet somebody new or even when you've known somebody for three years. And it's also like so much more than just like that specific relationship, right? Like as much as tattoos is about this like person who had tattoos and like we were together for like two or some weeks, right? It's like way more about like me and like my emotional downfall in relationships. And not downfall like the things I do wrong or the things I could do better, just like how you move in and out of spaces. And that's exactly what that is for me. So it's actually kind of, honestly, the outro is like every relationship I've ever had all summed up into one and probably has so little to do with tattoos, boy, because it did not tear me apart. I'm good. My grandma was always like, do not get tattoos. Do not get tattoos. Do not get tattoos. Do not do drugs. And I'm doing all of those things. So tattoos is not drugs. Don't do drugs. Unless they're legal and you want to do them. I'm not judging. But like, you know, I'm just trying to do everything that I was told not to do growing up. So I'm down to get a bunch of tattoos.